How you doing today, guys? Today, we're gonna to be working on this 4.8 liter LS engine out of my buddy's 240SX. We swapped this into about a year ago, and when we were building it, for some reason, he decided to be cheap and not buy piston rings. So it started smoking and burning a bunch of oil, and we have a little bit of a hunch that it's the piston rings. So we're gonna tear it down, essentially, just to replace the piston rings, even though we have all new bearings and, uh, stuff that we need to replace when we pull it apart and then we're going to put it back together today's going to be the pull apart video so i'm just going to pull the engine apart show what the insides look like they should be in pretty decent shape because the only thing that should be wrong with this engine is the piston rings if there's anything else i'll be a little bit surprised but worst comes to worst we can just turn it into a 5.3 or something okay let's get to work on tearing this thing down i'm going to pull apart all the accessories and stuff uh Except for our remote oil filter, I'm going to leave that on and just take it off with the pan because it's a lot simpler. Let's get to work. Right. Fantastic. Now we're going to start getting these rockers off. So I have to see if I have some extra push rods and rockers I can spare for him because each one of these push rods has the grooving that ALS engines are known for. When the push rod stops spinning and the rocker just sits there rocking in the same spot, it grinds away and you can just see the lines going across the top of the push rod. Looking like the same exact thing on this side. It means this thing's got pretty much all bad lifters. Not too bad, but bad. While we're over here, might as well get these head bolts taken out and get this head off. I already see it leaking out of there. Most of it in the bucket. Yeah, you can see a few of these cylinders are dark and wet, so those are signs of oil. A lot of oil. Head gasket's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got like a few thousand miles on it, so it better be in pretty good shape. Get the lifters out on this side. Yeah, there. Lifter doesn't seem bad, but when I look at the push rods. I don't know if I'd trust these things. Goodbye. Lifters seem in 
too bad of shape. I mean, all the plungers are pushed up from pressure. This engine hasn't run in forever and they're all pushed up, so that means the springs are still good inside them. They do have a little bit of scoring on the side of them, but we're still going to swap them out with some good ones I have. Let's get this head off and try not to make as much of a mess. And for another mess. Yep. All wet. Bunch of oil getting in these. And yes, it looks good on this side too. Yet again, it better. Get the lifters out on this side. Thinks it's going. I'm not getting that back or that. I'm going to yank this pulley off quick. There we go. Now let's get the front cover off. That is a lot of timing chain slop. I mean, that's a lot. I can see it sagging. I know these engines typically have a decent amount. But that... I mean, there's your... Timing advance right there. Variable valve timing. About two degrees right there. You know, need a little adjustment. Might as well get this cam out while we're here. We're going to swap this cam out with a uh, stock LS1 cam that came out of my 6.0 last week that you guys probably saw the video of. Or not. I don't know what you do in your free time. Cam's in pretty decent shape. No major marks. No grooving on any of the bearing journals.
oil pump off quick. We're going to start getting the pistons out, starting from front to back. The bearing's not in bad shape. It's got one little groove in it in the middle. You can tell by how easily that just slipped out of there. The piston rings don't have much tension on them. It look horrible, but that oil ring's got a bunch of gunk in it. And they're really flat on the edges too, which tells me they're probably worn down a bunch. Get these main caps off so we can yank this crankshaft out. Main bearing still looks new. And we can pull the crank out. All the upper main bearings still look practically brand new. Probably could have reused them, but better off not. Cam bearings have a little dirt on them, but they're not all scored like crazy. It's kind of hard to show them to you. I don't know if you can see them there. Here's our table of parts we pulled off the motor. Everything looks to be in decent shape, so we're gonna reuse most of it because a lot of the parts have already been cleaned and or are new already. So we're not gonna waste our money replacing a bunch of stuff we don't need. Okay, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in part two to put all this back in that motor with new rings, bearings, and seals. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good day.